Okay, now we're going to look at a home that is catered for luxury in the tropics. It's located just outside of Ely Beach. Well, what a wonderful place. Here we are in beautiful Ely Beach, and we here we are in the middle of winter, and have a look, have a look at it. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I just love it, this place. Is that why you moved here? You're from Sydney, aren't you? Yes, I am. And we moved up here about a year ago and decided to come and build up here. So this is your design, and you're, and you're the builder as well? Yes, I am. This is really fascinating. Oh, thank you. Can we get inside and have a yes, look? Yes, please, come in. Eileen, this is a little bit of luxury in paradise. Coming in the entry, uh, the first thing that you're greeted by is obviously that massive door. Yes. Then when you come in, there's water right, right, right at the, um, the front door. What was you thinking there? When I actually started designing this house, I actually put myself in the place of anybody okay. that was going to live in this house. Okay. And what would I like yeah. if I wanted to live in here? So all of my designs are based on the well-being of anybody that wants to live in a house. Okay. I actually focus on the elements, the element of water, grass, plants and sky. Okay. Um, to be greeted by that yeah. when you walk in is just amazing. It's a really unusual floor plan. Yes. Because I mean, we've got the, the master bedroom suite, which is absolutely beautiful, by the way. And when you open up those doors, look at the view that you've got. You can see Thank all you. the way through the house as well. I actually like being in any part of your house and actually be able to look around, look yeah. at your surroundings, look at the pool, be in another place, be transported to another place in the world if you want to be. Yeah. I love using natural light, circulation of air and just the movement of energies within the house. Yeah. So with this house, I actually like to use um, the principles of Feng Shui as well okay. to be able to just let the free flow of energies within the house. I actually don't like building to the norm, to the trend, because trends go out of fashion. That is true. So what I like to do is try and have the houses and the designs of houses that I do build last for 20, 30 years. Okay. So this house could have stood out 20 or 20 or 30 years ago, yep. or it can stand out in 20 or 30 years time. Yep. So there is no dating this yep. house, and that's what I like to achieve. Talking with Al and Eileen, we were having a chat about it actually, about the buyers for this house. And it really is the market that's being missed at the moment. It's the buyers that, not your first homeowners, not your million dollar plus buyers or, or homeowners, but you're in between, maybe your second or your third house, someone who's moving from Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, and wanting something with a bit of space and bringing that class of the city with them, something a bit different. Now, Cyclones, this is a big cyclone area and you've done some clever little innovations here. Yes, I have. Um, look, when I first moved up to this area, honestly, I didn't know anything about cyclone rated houses. We don't do that in Sydney. I was fortunate enough to meet uh, Gary Goddard, who's our engineer, and he pretty much put me up to speed with it. Just basically having to be able to put the, the reinforcement steel, connect the, the slab to the walls, connect, tie down the whole roof. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it, it's been, the, the windows are all cyclone rated. Traditionally, it's, um, it was a Queenslander up here, which uh, allowed for obviously the high intensity rainfall and the, the cyclonic winds up here, which does tend to push things around. The influence of um, southerners moving up to North Queensland, they like to bring their, their traditional homes down there. More of the, the flat roof, the large tile floors, large windows, large entertainment areas, which causes additional engineering problems. Just shows you that, that you, know, you can achieve something that is seen down south and is popular down south and works and it, it can work up here too if the engineering's done correctly. I mean, the look is very, very minimalist, isn't it? Yes. Well, what we like to achieve in our houses, besides everything else that we've discussed, is elegance and simplicity. So when you walk in through the house, you can't really pinpoint what it is that you like in the house, but if, you, if we can just present to somebody, a buyer or a client, the elegance and the simplicity of the home, I think that we've achieved a lot. Now, shiny surfaces are really big here, and that yes. goes with the luxe look that you're trying yes, to create that's here. Correct. Did you do the interior design as well? Yes, I did. 
Okay, what was you thinking? Um, well, with the interior designing, I just, I had the concept in my mind from the beginning. So that's what's great about being able to build the house that I designed because I can carry it right through. Yep. Now with the, the polished floors and the polished finishes, it actually gives a lot of luxury to yep. a house and, and, and that's the feel I wanted in this house. So with light minimalism, all of that is essential to the design. The garage doubles as a man cave. We've only got 250 square metres of house here. Okay. So what I've tried to do is create spaces that are, are dual purposes. So rather than having just a garage, I've actually extended the gar garage, put a modern living area which can double up as a man cave. Modern living. Modern living Love area. That. So the kids the can go nuts in there if they yes, want to. Yes, exactly. There's television, provisions for television, for internet, for all the services for the children if you want to put it as a rumpus room. And a man as okay. well. <laughs> and and um, just be able to, to use that because the whole garage is tiled. So you can use it as a rumpus or you can use it as a garage. Now you're the builder and the designer. Yes, I am. And you're from Sydney. Yes, What's I am. What's the story? <laughs> well, um, we were always coming up here to go sailing. Um, every year at Christmas time. And about four years ago, we made the decision, well, why don't we move up here? It's such a beautiful place. And with a growing family, um, about a year ago, we decided that's it. Let's come up here, let's change our lifestyle and let's just try and build what we want to build up here because there's no other climate that you could actually express your architectural ability more than this area. Eileen, you are a female builder. This is amazing, I love this story. How did you get into it and how's it kind of work for you? I've always been a designer and I've always been interested in the building industry. Um, when I first started, everybody kind of said, oh, if you're a designer, the builder never understands you. So initially, I went into the industry to be able to understand the way builders work. Yeah. So when I got into it, I actually enjoyed it so much. I thoroughly enjoyed creating. And do you have any barriers because you're a woman? Um, some, look, sometimes you do. Initially, um, you do have some barriers because people don't understand the concept that you, you can't, can you lay a brick? And no, <laughs> I'm a builder. I organise for somebody okay. to lay bricks. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but look, after they get to know me, I think I pretty much break down a lot of barriers. And I actually love becoming friends with a lot of the tradespeople. And I think it works well. Now, great news, this house is for sale, but I guess for people who don't want to buy this home, it's okay because you can design them a home and, and build them a home anyway. Yes, that's right. Um, but what's the price going for? This is on the market for 749000 That is great. Well, you've been amazing. Thanks for showing us around. Oh, thank you, Gary. Thanks a lot for coming to our home.